here again. We are going to do our tissue fitting now. We have pinned together our dresses. Anne has the one piece dress. She is working with McCall 7085. It's a sheet dress. We are doing the sheet dress fit along. And I am working with a two piece dress and my pattern is 9025. For Anne, because she has a one piece dress, she has darts with an indention here and her size at the top is a size six. So we had to grade between the size six and the different size that she wears on her hip. We always make sure that we hold the Hold the top. She has a dart in her in her upper part of her back. So we make sure that the we make sure that the back is in the right place. So we're gonna turn around. And Anne is looking in the mirror over here. And you guys are her mirror over here. So she's looking in the mirror and she's checking to make sure. Now this pattern says that the neckline is one inch below the the neck so that means this neckline is one inch below the base of the neck so she's going to make sure that she just feels the tissue at the base of her neck okay so ann is is holding the tissue at the, her center back now we can still feel our center back i'm going to try to do as little as possible for her so that she'll be able to do this and duplicate fitting her pattern at home now, I want you to make sure you use the opposite hand instead of this hand here because you want to keep your shoulder down and in place. So once she checks that, now she's going to look in the mirror and see where the waist is on the pattern. So turn this way so they can take a look. So she's checking the waist. And let's see, look at where the waist is on the pattern. It's way down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what you do in order to make, to make sure you check that first is you look at the pattern here, put your finger there, or hold the pattern actually, okay. just kind of grab the pattern. And once you do that, you see where the pattern is, is, okay, once you place your finger on the waistline that the pattern suggests, then you place it on your waist and see how much, where it's located. If it's not in the correct place, then that is how you know to lengthen and shorten the waist. Now you take your hand and you check the front here to see if that's in the correct place. And then you take your other hand off the back and check and see if the middle is in the correct place. And then that's how we check our measurements. And her middle is in the correct place. The tissue is not too tight across the bust. And then now we go down, and of course, let me show you why Ann keeps holding her arm like this against the tissue. Because Ann was in one of my prior classes where we did all of this before with the shirt. So she knows to hold the pattern very snugly under her arm. That's how we can do this by ourselves. So ladies, you'll be able to do this all by yourself. pin the center front in place so that it won't move while we are getting to the waistline now now that we're getting to the waistline we can take our time and check and see if the hip fits so turn around and look in the mirror and you guys see this part here you notice how this is puckering that means that this dart does not need to be that low and it's probably, or actually it, it could be taken up a little bit more because her hip is a lot lower. Or we can raise the waist up and, and change where the curve is so that this will fit in the proper place. And it'll, it'll hang a lot better. Now we are utilizing a Ponte de Roma knit, a Ponte knit that's going to have some stretch to it. So this pattern tissue can fit very snugly on her body because we know we're using a knit. If we were not using a knit, we want to make sure that we include some ease 
by allowing the tissue to hang a little bit more freely and that way a woven fabric can be used. right here and is a little bit this part right here is too long from here to here it's too long so this is where we're going to petite the pattern so I'm going to fold this up right there I want to make sure this remains straight so it's going to be lengthened uh, shortened the same distance across the front to the center front that, that's pretty simple now, this here has a draw, a pull across there. And the dart is in the wrong place. So we're gonna lower the darts because we're gonna petite this pattern, same as we did before. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, this shoulder is off a little bit. So, turn to the front. Okay, when we check and make sure the center front is in place, we, it's creating a little bit of a drag right here. This is telling us that the, her shoulder is in a different spot than what, it's supposed, what the pattern is. So if we release that, it, it, actually, it changes position a lot better. Okay, so that changes position. Then also, it takes away some of the seam allowance. That drag told us that she is not, she does not have enough fabric or enough uh, ease in the front between her center front and the tip of her shoulder. And when that took some off the back, that means when we get to the pattern stage, we're going to add it back into the back to make sure that we have the right amount of seam allowance. Now, when we go to the back, it's a little bit loose. So we're going to take some out over here and we can just remove, we can remove this from the back. I'm not going to, I'm going to mark this front a little bit here and leave that pin, but I'm going to fold out some out of the back so there won't be so much, so much fabric at her arm joint right here. Okay. And that's all we do for Anne. And I'll put a pin there, and that's gonna help me know what to do, or we can draw it with a marker, but this is gonna help me know what to do when I get to, when I get to uh, the table to make the pattern adjustments. And it's pretty much the same, so I'm removing some of the tissue from the center, from the side back to so she won't have too much going on under here because there's too much fabric. And you can kind of feel this. You don't have to try to do it on your pattern. You can kind of feel this. And let's look at the neckline. We look at the neckline and we see if it's too low or too high. That is it too high? That'd be fine. Okay, I think the back is... Uh, loose so I'm gonna fold out okay in the back we need to take a wedge out because between her neck and right at her shoulder blades it's just puffing up too much fabric so I'm folding a little bit out of there too all right so that's what we're gonna do with Ann's pattern now we look at the side seam this is nice and loose it fits her on her on the back okay the front fits pretty good so if we need to we can take some extra out of the side seams and we'll keep the dots in so we're going to lower the front the bust dot here we're doing a petite around and then a little bit extra in the back so to take care of any sway back and we're changing the pitch of the shoulder so that she will have enough room for her forward shoulder on her right arm. And looking at both her right on her left and right shoulders, that may be the case for both for both arms. So we'll just do the same adjustment on the pattern for the left and the right.
So that's all we needed to do for Ann's pastor.